Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from galaxies.dev back with a question of the day. Can ChatGPT replace me as a developer? I've seen crazy videos. I've seen a lot of pictures on Twitter and YouTube and you probably have seen the same about ChatGPT writing all the cool code. And I want to challenge ChatGPT today to write a whole application backend and front end with React in just 10 minutes. So let's give it a try and hit start. Uh, we're gonna be quick with this, so give me the code for an express server with one API route that um, makes a call to the open AI endpoint for generating images with DALI. So we actually do a bit of cross, cross logic here, right? It's kind of almost Inception-like. Um, to clarify this, I already created two projects. This is a blank uh, Express API, as you can see. And the other one is a React project created not with Create React App, because I don't want to get the hate from the community. It was um, done with Vite, of course. So here the code comes. Certainly, I always like how nice it is. I sometimes just want to say please to chat on GPT. Can we give this a short name? Like, let's call this just GPT today. Okay, mm, that looks interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, the cool thing is I have no idea. Like, I never used DALI or something to generate. I think I once used Midjourney. That was kind of complicated. So I'm curious to put this to use. Um, because I kind of already got the first part, let's just extract the second part uh, and put it in here. Um, API generate image. I should replace this with my key. I can grab this, no problem. Uh, I'm going to use a new key. I'm going to put this in here. Um, for now, I'm just going to call the prompt like cat with Christmas hat or something. Okay, then it makes a call. Uh, request, cannot find request. Um, sorry, what kind of request are you making here? Chat GPT, or did I, I forgot about it? Oh, it did an import. Um, can you please use Axios instead? That would be nice. I don't like request. Um, I want to use Axios. So let's already s install Axios uh, for making HTTP calls. I'm gonna bring up the server again, and I'm pretty sure you can do this. Certainly, yes, my lord. Uh, there we go, App Express, that's still the same. Replace your API key, yada, yada, yada. I can already prepare something in Insomnia because I know we're gonna have to make the call to the API soon and we really need to hurry up here. So HTTP localhost 3k slash API slash, what was the IP endpoint? Generate image here. Yeah. Generate, generate image. And it was a post request. So we're gonna be able to put something into our body pretty soon. However, for now, I'm just gonna copy over this part here and replace this because I really don't like that. Oh, I don't I wanna replace everything. I just wanna <laughs> replace the options and the call. Um, Otherwise, I'm gonna have to copy the stuff again. Okay, Axios, can you just yeah, add the import? Oh, Visual Studio Code helps us uh, to save time as well. Let's see. Post call to this endpoint. It's taking time. That is a good, that looks good. If it takes time, then something is going on. Um, yeah, well, oh yes, this is definitely a cat with a Christmas head. Six and a half minutes, oh, and we got still time. So that means our API already works, which is pretty amazing. I'm not gonna touch this anymore. Um, so now, uh, please write the code for a React app with TypeScript with, um, with a prompt input field that makes uh, fetch request to the endpoint of our express server from before and shows the resulting image this is uh, this is kind of like a very interesting part now um because i know how i would write that code probably however it would take like i don't know 10, 15 minutes, something like, 
just putting together stuff. And I really hope that ChatGPT saves me time. And that is like what I think ChatGPT could really do great. Like I'm not interested in this boring work as a developer. Um, I want to solve problems and I want to get like into real stuff. Uh, so let's see, we already have use state for the prompt. Uh, we have a submit function that makes a call post call to API. This is unbelievable. Uh, to API generate images. Um, then we set the data to image URL. This, um, well, yeah, we actually get back a URL, right? We already unwrapped this uh, in our, <laughs> that was crazy. I just noticed this. When it rewrote the logic to the Axios call in the API, it actually unwraps the object here. So there is a real object we get back from that API. How is it possible that it actually knows about this? Oh, we got the code. We need to hurry up. Uh, how long we got? Like four minutes. Ooh, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be challenging. Let's just hit save and see. Okay, okay. Will this work out of the box? Let me try. Um, Green Bay Packers fans. Okay, well, it certainly takes time, which is usually a good note. On the other hand, I'm feeling like, yeah, we got a problem here. Handle submit. Okay, we do get back the data. Or what is this? Let's try again. Let's let's you set this as a state. Uh, cat with Chris, nope, with Green Bay Packers hat. Okay, yeah, let's generate an image. Okay, post to, no, this is not the NP. Okay, yeah, I need to make this to uh, HTTP slash slash local host 3K, and then I can generate this. Okay, it's not giving me an error again. That's usually a good sign. And is it actually doing something? I am wondering, because we only got three more minutes. No unexpected token age HTTP is not a valid JSON. What is not a valid JSON? Yeah, okay, what we get back from the API is certainly not a valid JSON. So let's let's just, um, let's pass it back from the API like this and then unwrap it in here. Um, or probably also let's lock this out uh, just to see what's going on and then putting it because something is going on definitely. Uh, I think we just, putting it in the wrong way. So I can already tell him, um, um, can, oh, what's this? Oh, we do get back a result in like, yes, in three minutes, we still got time. Can you please uh, rewrite the UI to use material UI? Because it looks horrible. It could look better, right? But it works. We've, in seven minutes, in seven, in just seven minutes, we have done an API endpoint that calls an API that I never used before uh, in a real application and it wrote the React code with a prompt, with an image, it's like conditional rendering, uh, it has a form, we could actually like re oh, I think I'm challenging uh, chat GPT. <sighs> okay, I'm replaced, I'm done. <laughs> if this looks any good, I'm completely done. This is probably my last video you see on YouTube. Uh, create styles. This is, if this is now already responsive, I'm just gonna drop out and become a farmer somewhere else. Why am I actually here? What did I do in the last 10 years? Like, why? Okay, yeah, we still need to make sure that we uh, patch this a bit and this point where we made the little correction in our API. So let's see, I'm gonna, um, like the whole fetch, like the whole handle submit, uh, for the whole handle submit, I'm gonna copy this out just to make sure we still got access to it. How long is this code snippet? Damn, like this would have taken me, I don't know, 20 minutes to write? If this is correct, if this looks like material UI, and if ChatGPT finished this code before, um, like it's not possible. Um, we haven't added the, we haven't actually added material UI core. So how do I install this? Do you tell me this? Um, no. Uh, how do I install this? 
I'm just gonna try this. I don't know. So I'm just gonna install Material UI Core. Uh, I think like there are more packages you usually need to install with uh, Material UI. I still have this. Uh, npm install at Material UI slash Core. Nah, that's certainly not the way you do it. Um, so I'm gonna go back to my previous code and run npm run dev because in this second it runs out. There is it. But anyway, I have an application. I can put in a prompt and I can generate an image that shows up in here. It's only using, uh, it's still using the prompt in here. So we could now refine this easily um, to rewrite the API to use the prompt from the request uh, parameters, it would most likely do this. I'm not exactly sure how you install material UI, uh, react material UI. I think like the installation is not just running one script. Um, so this is, it actually says it, that's the way to go. Let's see, I'm just gonna for fun do this. So we're gonna expand this a little bit. Um, uh, found react, uh, okay, you can, yeah, we can actually install this with pure legacy. There we go. Um, and if I install it like that, is that enough? Like, is this enough to use? Um, it is, <laughs> it actually is. Uh, and it's still going on here to rewrite our thing to grab the prompt from the request params. Actually, it's not the request params uh, that you should use. You should really use uh, the request body, body.prompt, because I think we're sending it as an object from our front end. So once again, a tiny correction. Um, can you please uh, also do the front end like in responsive? Uh, we're jumping around, this is interesting. Can you rewrite the material UI code for the front end to make it responsive and include a nice header? So we're gonna wait for that, that's gonna be the last one. Um, but besides that, we're already doing this. So I think we don't have to call JSON stringify anymore. Um, or do we have to call this with fetch? Let's see, cat with hat. Um, yeah, that's not working because this is not our endpoint. So that's a pity. It should kind of remember the stuff we had in here. Um, that's probably my own problem. Um, so if I do it now, oh, it's still going on. <laughs> it has a nice header included. I should probably have told this to come up with um, yeah, and this is now where my set image URL comes in differently. Uh, but anyway, it should work just like this. Uh, cat with Green Bay Packers hat. Uh, let's see if it can come up with this. Also, ChatGPT, why are you so slow? Like, you could take ages to write that kind of code, huh? You, you could do this. Oh, it's using grid. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Here's a cat with a I don't know, this doesn't look like a head from the Green Bay Packers. It looks more like, I don't know which kind of uh, football team. This is like, if if Kansas City Chiefs and the Green Bay Packers would fusion, that's probably the result of it. <laughs> um, but I still do wanna see the, uh, the UI here. So I'm gonna copy this code over now uh, and put it in here. I'm gonna reply my little changes that I always made. So I'm gonna setting the image in a different way but that's only my own fault. And then the fetch command is also a tiny bit different. So let's hit save and let's see. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is nice. So here we go. Here is the DALI image generator. You could probably have put this to the top and not the center of the screen. Uh, but anyway, let's do um, Santa with a Green Bay Packers cheese hat. And then let's generate this. Oh, I made made a did I made a typo somewhere, uh, or did I crash the API? Uh, HTTP localhost generate image. Uh, 
what did I, what did I just do? Uh, API generate image. Oh, uh, it's actually it's not a get, it's a post request, my friend. When did you change this and why? There was no reason to to change that. Uh, I don't know. That is funny. Like, <laughs> why did you do this? Well, when did it change our code? We had inside the body everything was fine until we added this new thing. Uh. <laughs> Then it messed up. Then it totally messed up our code. So be careful with ChatGPT and what it does to your code. You can't trust it all the time. Uh, we've we've seen it now. It can so, like suddenly change your code for no reason. The code was nice and suddenly was broken. So I feel a bit betrayed now by you. Uh, App bar is not defined. Yeah, well, uh, go away, ChatGPT. You lost my well, you still kind of wrote that code pretty nice. So, cat with cheese head uh, before Christmas tree. So this is our last prompt for today because I think we kind of won the challenge. When the time ran out, we had an application and we do have a pretty solid, <laughs> like this is not a cheese head. This is a piece of cheese cat but it's a Christmas tree and a cat. It's not too bad. And our header is suddenly in the right position if we have a big image. So it's not too bad what we can do with ChatGPT. We need some developer understanding. Like I had to do like a mechanic, get a few screws right here and there. But overall what it wrote in just 15 minutes, this uh, responsive UI, this server with an API function, uh, which makes calls, I probably would have taken longer to figure this out with the documentation and if we would take longer to now rewrite this, uh, apply a few changes here and there, I think I'm very sure that ChatGPT could come up with even more helpful prompts that will help us to write the full application. So will it replace our jobs? I don't think so. Um, can everyone use it? I don't think so because you still need some kind of understanding, uh, a bit of a developer mind to get into all of these but like it's very early and this is already the result it can give us this is pretty fascinating so i kind of fear about my job in like five years but for now i'm going to continue so check out videos at galaxies.dev get on the rocket they're going to be epic more videos in the future and don't forget subscribe to this channel so until then happy coding simon